What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have for you guys another exciting unboxing to dig into. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And do me a huge favor, before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciated everyone. Feel free to let me know what you're carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. So we have a knife coming in from Vastid. I, have, I just took it out of the box before turning on the camera, trying to save a step. But uh, their packaging, guys, cannot be overlooked. It is some of the best, if not the best, uh, packaging in the game. And let's open this hard case here. We have a patch, sticker, microfiber cloth, and then we have our knife here, guys. And we are taking a look at the premium Vastid Thunderbird. Now, there are a couple of different sizes, and there's a couple of different variations. Uh, this is going to be the Titanium and the LMAX variant, which this is the one right here, guys, uh, for me. Titanium, LMAX, it's a great combination in my opinion, uh, and I like this design a lot. Uh, having the G Mascus one in M390, I have been using and testing that knife for the last couple of weeks, and all that knife has done is perform very, very well, and I expect nothing less of this knife. We are going to check the lock, check the edge, see how it carries, you know, all the functional things about the knife. We're going to check and make sure. Let's go over a couple of the little details here. We have a coated blade, kind of has like a, a wash look to it almost uh, in the right light. So we do have a coated LMAX blade, and this is kind of like a, an old traditional Tanto. You do have that point right here, and then you have your uh, primary point here as well. Uh, it's a unique looking blade shape. It's kind of like a harpoon Tanto almost. Then we have a cutout that runs into the fuller here. This ramp is going to be great to lock in in the standard grip here. And then this 50-50 area does allow you to choke up right behind that edge. So that's going to give you a lot of control over this knife. And then that's also a perfect place for that index grip as well. We also get multiple deployment methods with this guy with the rear and front flipper. Uh, and it's, it's really hard to do, guys. Uh, tune a knife that has multiple deployments that is a button lock style of knife. It's just extremely hard to do in general. Uh, and this is about as close as you can get to perfect uh, with a button lock and this many deployments. The thumb flick works really well. The reverse flick works even better. The uh, rear flipper works really good. And then that front flipper also works really good. Could it be a little stronger for me? Yeah, it definitely could be a little stronger. Uh, I would prefer it a little stronger, but I don't know if that is possible, you know, with all the deployment options, with it being the button lock style, uh, it, it might not be possible, but is it enjoyable? Is it satisfying as it sits? Yeah, you bet your ass it is. This thing is very satisfying and enjoyable. Uh, I think it's going to be just like the G Mascus version. We'll have to bring it out and do a little comparison really quickly. The blade is perfectly centered. And this frag texturing reminds me of another knife Vastid uh, just put into Kickstarter phase, the Onkilo. Now this is going to be aluminum where that is titanium, but these are both going to be coming in LMAX. The Kickstarter is up and running right now for the Onkilo. It is fully funded. So these are probably already in production. Uh, if they're not, they will be very soon. But uh, these pivot style locks are going to take over the knife world, guys, uh, in my opinion. They are fun. They are strong or so far seem to be very strong. If you uh, didn't catch the video on the on kilo that I did, I will put a card up here and uh, I will leave it at the end of the video as well. You can head over and check it out. 
very good knife and also a very good video as well. So we have a deep carry clip that's been recessed along with the screws there. And the other cool thing about this knife and Vlasteed, they told this knife for lefty and they include a filler tab. Some companies that are even bigger, that have been around even longer, struggle to do something so simple as this. Uh, and to be worried about aesthetics like some of these companies are, toll a knife for lefty carry, which is phenomenal, but then leave out a simple pennies on the dollar filler tab is just beyond me. It does not make any sense. Uh, you wanna talk about ruining the aesthetic of a knife? Toll it for lefty with a recess and don't put a filler tab in there. It's like, did a chunk of the knife come out? Like, did you guys just skip an entire step uh, while finishing the knife? You know, what What happened there? Uh, but in the case of uh, Steed and the Thunderbird here, filler tab looks beautiful. Now, we are going to have a little bit of the knife poking out of the pocket there, but that is going to be under my half inch roll. As I say, uh, as long as there's less than a half inch poking out, I'm good, and this is going to be well under that. You'll have a little bit to grab a hold of there and pull this guy out of the pocket. That is going to be Vostede's standard clip. They use that a lot on a lot of different models. I don't know if that's going to be the clip they use on this knife. It is on the prototype. I don't know if that's the final uh, production clip or not, but that is what's on there right now. And I think it works very well. Uh, you know, would I prefer a different clip? Yeah, um, but then you're getting into, you know, the way this is done and the way the Yonkilo is done. If you have like a milled clip here, you're going to have like an inch of knife sticking out of your pocket. So, you know, I, I'm fine with this clip and it serves its function. It works well. And then we have a titanium backspacer, I believe here. Yep. Titanium backspacer, and then we have a hidden lanyard post also included. Now, like I said, guys, the action on this is going to be very satisfying, especially for a button lock. Uh, it's impressive what they've been able to accomplish over the last few months. And I don't mean just Vostede. Uh, Vostede is definitely, you know, trend setting when it comes to nailing these button and crossbar locks. But a lot of companies are starting to really nail those down and make them very enjoyable to open and mess with, basically. Uh, how's this LMAX? And how is the edge, you ask? Very, very nice. Uh, very, very slicey. And that is exactly how the other Thunderbird that I had in uh, cut as well. And it has held its edge very well. And I expect this LMAX to do the same. Very nice edge right out of the box. So that's not the, you know, how does it carry? That's a question. How's it cut? That's a question, right? But the major question that you're probably asking and a lot of people ask me is how does the lock hold up on a lot of these button locks? How's it hold up on the Trek lock? Well, in my experience, guys, I know there's been some issues with it a while back. I know there's been a couple of issues uh, more recently, but the ones that I have experienced have all been solid. Now, there's going to be QC slips, guys. You know, no matter what model, what design, what company, there's always going to be knives. You know, with the way, you know, and the volume at which these are produced, there's going to be knives that slip through the cracks. Uh, so it's, it's, as long as it's not a design flaw, you know, you're most likely going to be in pretty good shape. So with all that being said, let's see, you know, there's no up or down and there's no side to side either with this guy. If I really wrench on it, no, I can't even, I can't even get it to move if I wrench on this thing. So let's see what kind of, uh, 
adversity we can put on this guy and see what it does up against that adversity here. So there's a nice little tap towards the tip. We'll go up here towards the tang. Looking good so far, guys. We'll do one in the middle here. And we'll do one more for good measure. And it's solid, guys. And just like the other Thunderbird that I had in, uh, I, I've checked that actually a couple times. I'm not in here pounding the hell out of them. But after, you know, I carry and use it for a little bit, I'll check it, give it a couple taps, you know, make sure it's still holding strong. Uh, but there, those are things I want to know and they're things <clears throat> I want to be able to relay back to you guys as well. You know, I've had the knife for two months, you know, and it's still going strong. Or I've had the knife for two months and the lock was passing originally, now it's failing or vice versa. So, you know, those are all just things I like to do for my own information and so I can pass that information on to you guys as well. Uh, I know some people ask about the drag, if there is any, and you can push this button all the way in and there is no drag whatsoever. Nice and smooth in there. So that is another good design cue there or build cue if you will uh, but I like the size of this thing I can get a full grip in the standard position and then a, I can get a very comfortable grip in the choked up grip here or the choked up position you guys will have to let me know what's your favorite Thunderbird out of all of them I know there's a couple different sizes a couple different variations titanium g -mascus. there's different steels that you can choose let me know what one's your favorite and if you haven't checked out a Thunderbird yet, let me know what your favorite Vostede knife is so far along the way. And you can let me know what you think of the Onkilo as well. I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to hit, up, hit that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciate it, everyone. And if you're new here, well, we release videos every single day, typically twice a day. Hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I will throw up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out. Hope you have an awesome day, and I will catch you guys on the next one.